If you need a pillow, a blanket, a block, whatever it is that you may want to have a seat on, know that you absolutely can and should grab that. And um, our playlist is on Spotify. My name, my user or profile name is Melanie Zapata Humphrey. And um, from there, it's labeled 11-6 Gentle. So that's for our class this morning. Welcome to class. As uh, students arrive, just get comfy. And if your mic or your um, camera isn't on mute, not your camera, but your voice on mute, please just courtesy, put it, place it on mute for me this morning. But as you arrive on the mat, cross those legs if you can, but if your knees hurt for any reason, the hips are too tight, then you can have straight legs or even come into butterfly pose instead. Just support those thighs if needed. Um, that can be with a pillow, a blanket, or it may even be where you extend those legs or bend those knees and rest your hands on those thighs if this is more comfortable for you. So tons of variations on what comfort is for our bodies. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Let's all close our eyes as we begin our practice this morning. Draw that breath in fully through your nose. And as you exhale, open mouth sigh, let that breath go, feeling the shoulders release away from the ears. Two more cleansing breaths in. So draw that breath in, feel your low abdomen expand. And as you exhale, sigh that breath out. One more big giant breath in. Sip in a little more air. And then exhale, open mouth side or release that breath, feeling yourself anchor into the earth, feeling yourself grow through the crown. Taking the tongue, licking the lips, we seal them to one another as if a feather has landed on earth. And from that ceiling, take your tongue, take the tip of it and press it gently towards the roof of your mouth if you're feeling pretty good this morning. If your energy is low, then let the tongue be soft within the mouth. Relaxing the eyes, we begin breathing in through our nose and out of our nose. There's a soft or a slight constriction in the back of the throat as this breath, our prana, comes in and releases out. Begin to observe the temperature, the breeze that you may be feeling the warmth that you may be experiencing. And just accept it for what it is. If you feel like dropping your chin towards your chest, know that you can release the chin towards the chest as you exhale. And you may wanna stay right here. You may wanna rock your head from collarbone to collarbone. Just allowing soft movement through the neck, through the shoulders. If you prefer to stay tall and still, stay tall and still. At any point, the mind begins to wander. Maybe smile and acknowledge as it wanders to the thoughts that in turn arise. But then give yourself permission to come back, to find that grounding and to release what no longer serves your higher purpose. And then from there, I encourage you to look within, ask yourself why you rolled this mat out this morning. What brought you here? Is it that this is your time for love, for peace, for comfort? Is it something else? It can be physical, it can be emotional, it can be spiritual, but why? And then beyond that, don't worry. As you guide your love and your light and energy towards your thoughts, your needs, embrace who you are. Embrace why you're here. And as you draw your next breath in, infiltrate your lungs, your body, the tissue with love, with light, with kindness. And as you exhale, sigh that breath out, let it go. Either keeping your eyes closed or fluttering your eyes open, we'll all begin to look neutrally 
And then we'll inhale, circle sweep those arms up towards the sky. The gaze can go up slightly and the palms will kiss. As we exhale, we bring our hands into prayer and at our heart space. As we draw our next breath in, we'll pull those shoulders up towards our ears and we'll exhale, release the breath and relax the shoulders away from our ears. As we inhale, we'll circle sweep those arms back up towards the sky. And as we exhale, we'll release that right hand to the right side of the room and extend the left fingertips actively towards that right side. If you've lifted the left knee or the left hip, can you keep that hip rounded into the mat, that glue that anchors you? Take a full breath in here, looking anywhere from your right thumb up towards the ceiling. Let that breath go. Pressing through your right palm, inhale, both arms reach up towards the sky. Palms kiss, interlace your fingers like you've weaved a basket. Flip those palms inside out, relax the shoulders away from the ears. And as you exhale, dome your spine, bring those palms forward, pressing out of the ribs, pressing through the shoulder blades. And then we'll inhale, extend and lift those arms back up. If you need a modify, grab your wrist instead. Exhale, dome your spine to soften at the elbows, pressing out of the back. And we'll inhale, lift the heart up once more. And we'll exhale, dome that spine last time. On our next breath in, we'll send our palms over towards this left side of the room. We'll press through our right rib cage. We'll breathe in through the nose here. We'll let that breath go out of our nose. On our next inhale, the arms trace a giant circle up towards this top left corner around to that bottom right corner. Three of them. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, bring it down. And once more, inhale, we lift it up. Find that fluid movement through your vertebrae. And exhale, bring it down. And then inhale, we rise up. On that exhale, We'll allow the fingertips to come forward. Let those palms release, extend the arms towards the front. And as we exhale, lift the arms up. On that exhale, pull the heads of the elbows down, arms reach up. And on that exhale, release the palms down to your sides. Go ahead and shrug those shoulders back and forth, just releasing any tension we may have caused or perhaps just that release. On your next inhale, circle sweep your arms up. And as you exhale, left palm to that left side, extending the fingertips towards that left edge. Relax that shoulder away from your ear. Draw your breath in. Look anywhere it makes you happy. If it doesn't make you happy, find what does. Let that breath go. Draw one more inhale here. And let that breath go. Press into that left palm. Inhale, both arms reach up. And as we exhale, pull the heads of the elbows down. Feel your thumbs reach back as your shoulder blades connect behind your body. On that breath in, the arms reach up, palms kiss, wet basket weave once more, but do it the unextensional grip. And then flip those palms inside out. If you happen to grab the wrist, then grab that opposite wrist. But when you're ready, exhale, dome your spine to cat it back. Feel your palms reaching forward as you draw the navel towards the spine. Inhale, we lift it up. Exhale, we bring it down. Inhale, we lift it up. And exhale, we bring it back down. This time we're sliding those palms over towards that right side, pressing the left rib cage out towards that left side. A breath in as we prep and a breath out. And then on that next inhale, trace the circle in the opposite direction, up to that top left corner, down to that bottom left corner. Inhale around. Exhale, bring it down. Last time, big giant circle. Inhale, we lift it up. Exhale, we bring it down. And then on our next breath in, we'll extend and reach those arms up, releasing the fingers, a few circles with the wrist in one direction and then the opposite. And as we exhale, we'll bring the heads of the fingers down to the heads of our shoulders. Draw a breath in. Let that breath go. Take your left elbow forward, send that left elbow back. Bring your right elbow forward, send it back. Rotate this a few times. Maybe even bow forward. It might feel good on the vertebrae and the low spine. And then we'll switch it out. If you need to rise up tall, rise up tall or find fluid movement. Whatever feels the best for you. Go ahead and pause in the middle. Inhale, those arms reach up and exhale. We release the hands down. Shrug the shoulders back up and down. Maybe look over the right shoulder, then the left shoulder, and then cross the direction of your legs the opposite way. 
release the love or the flesh from underneath your bottom and sit up nice and tall. And if you happen to have one elevated hip, that's okay. That's normal. You might want to extend the leg out, or you may want to take a blanket to support it, or it may feel fine for you. Take a breath in and circle sweep those arms up towards the sky. On that exhale, the right fingertips go down and the left hand wraps around this right ear and you'll gently guide this left ear towards your left shoulder. Know that you can do anything you need to with this right arm. It could be imagining you're turning a doorknob back and forth or you're treading water up and down or you're pulling the string from the ground up. And it may be that you just want to rest your hand comfortably on your thigh. Take another breath here, releasing through the scalenes and the levator scapula. There's one little area there that usually feels really good if you can let it go. Take one more inhale. Let that breath go. On our next breath in, we release, extending that left palm down, taking that left ear over, to, excuse me, that right ear over towards that right side. Inhale, that right arm reaches up, grabbing this left ear. Relax the shoulder away from the ear. And then once more, where do you want to send this arm? Is it movement? Is it stillness? Make sure you're not hyperextending the neck or cause, causing too much pain. It should feel good. It should feel lengthened. You should feel like you can breathe in long inhales and deep exhales. Take one last breath in and that breath out. On your next inhale, release the right hand down. And as we exhale, drop the chin down towards the chest and then inhale, circle sweep the arms up, interlace your fingers over the head and then softly begin to place the hands on the back of the head and curl those elbows in as you exhale to dip the chin a little closer towards the chest. There's soft weight as you release the back of the neck. So we're working with our cervical spine here. You may wanna trace a small circle or you might wanna wiggle the body a little bit or it may be stillness that feels the best for you. Whatever it is, one last breath in and one last breath out. On our next inhale, those elbows open up. We release the pressure from the head and the arms extend up. On that exhale, bring your right elbow, excuse me, right fingertips to your right shoulder and exhale, twist it open as that right elbow reaches back and the left hand anchors on that right thigh. Draw a breath in, let that breath go. On your next inhale, keep that left hand where it's at, reach that right arm up, look to your left knee and allow the ankle to occur as you drop that left shoulder to the left side and reach the right fingertips actively. And you're welcome to pull the elbow back so that you can find your nice alignment as you extend. Draw a breath in here, let that breath go. On your next inhale, lift and extend up towards the sky with the fingertips and then exhale, twist it open. Allow yourself to look over the shoulder, one more belly breath in and that belly breath out. And then inhale, we release the low back as we slowly bring those arms back up towards the sky, switching it out. Now bring the fingertips towards this left shoulder, draw a breath in and exhale, twist it open as we bring that left palm to that left, excuse me, right palm to that left thigh. Draw a breath in, let that breath go. Another breath in and you let that breath go. And then on that next inhale, the left arm extends up. We turn our gaze towards that right side of the room and we'll exhale, extend and lengthen the side body. As you extend and lengthen the side body, draw a breath in and adjust the shoulder if necessary. Let that breath go. You're releasing through the QLs, the hip, the glute, one more inhale here and that exhale here. And then inhale, we extend and lift up through our core and twist it open. You can either release the hand behind you as you rise up tall, or you can let that left hand rest on your thigh if you need less of a twist. Always honor the spine. We never want to cause jet damage or sensations of pain to our body. Take a full breath in. Let that breath go. And then inhale. Take your time as you unwind and sweep those arms back up towards the sky. Palms will kiss. And as we exhale, our hands come into prayer and at our heart space. We'll take a breath in and we can pull the shoulders up and then we'll exhale, release the shoulders back down. With your eyes closed, inhale through your nose, reflect on where you're at, give grace, love, gratitude for the beautiful being you are. When you're ready, exhale, the hands release to the sides, uncross those legs if they're crossed, and then bring your knees down to the mat and bring those palms to stack. Wiggle the hips from the right side of the room to the left side of the room. 
Any additional movement that your body is craving, please go there. If it's not something you like that I'm doing, know that you're an advocate for yourself and I'm simply just suggesting. So you get to guide yourself. You get to be the teacher. You typically always are the teacher. You know what your body needs. So just listen and honor it. Go ahead and pause in stillness when you're ready. Big toes are gonna kiss. Knees go out to the edges of the mat or as far as your body allows. And then you'll slide your hips back without force so you're not pushing and forcing. You're just letting gravity do its job. You'll begin to wiggle if you need to and then exhale, you'll release the chest down to the mat. As you release the body down to the ground, if your forehead or that space between your eyebrows cannot reach the earth, bring the earth up to you by palming, stacking palms together, and then resting that space between the eyebrows down on the stacked palms or make two fists. And then allow yourself to stack there. If you have pillows or a block, let yourself go there. Go ahead and draw a full breath in through your nose here. Letting that breath go. One more big giant breath in and big giant breath out. On our next inhale, we press into the palms. As we lift our heart up, we'll slide our hands so that they're stacked directly in line with our shoulders. We'll bring our knees back to hip width distance. And as the knees come back into hip width distance, we stack them in line with our hips. Curling the toes under, we'll inhale, drop our belly down, let the chest relax so that the retraction of our shoulders occur. And then inhale, lifting up, take your cow pose. On that exhale, the tops of your feet press into the earth. You cup the earth with your palms, and then you'll exhale, cat it up as you dome your spine. Inhale, cow pose. Shoulders pull back in a soft bend of the elbow as we lift the heart up. Exhale, rounding that spine, pressing into the earth, filling the vertebrae, opening up. Inhale, belly down. Last one. Smile as you rise up. And then exhale, doming it back. As you dome back, pause here in the dome. Press your right hip over towards that right side now. Breathe in through your nose. And then as you exhale, figure eight, as you send this right hip back, send this right hip to the left side. And then take the heart as you inhale to that top right corner around to the left. So finding that fluid movement, giving your body, your vertebrae some love as you cushion the joints by creating movement and re-lubricating it with synovial fluids. Find one last round in that direction. And then inhale, we come back to center and set up. On our exhale, press into the palms, dome the spine to cat it up. And then press your left hip now towards that left side, prep breath in. And exhale, the hip slides to that back left corner around to the right in the opposite direction for figure eight. Usually in figure eight, you'll know one side's a little tighter than the other. And we always have a dominating side and not to worry about it. Just do what feels comfortable in your body. And your figure eights might be small or they may be really big. Take one final round. So exhale, the hip goes back to that left corner, around to the right. You bring your heart fluidly to that top left corner, around to the right. And then inhale, we neutralize. As we neutralize, lift that right hand off the mat. And a few circles with your right wrist in each direction. Just give it a little bit of love. Furthering our continuance of relubricating those joints. Place that right palm down. Lift that left one. Give it a little bit of love. Place that left palm down, spread your fingers nice and wide, but not so wide that you're creating tension through the crease of the fingers or the joining of where the palm meets and the fingers spread. On our next breath in, we'll inhale, tuck the right toes and extend that left leg behind us. I'm going to stay right here, but a modification could be sliding that left hand a little closer, extending that right hand out. If your right hand is out, that's perfectly fine. As your, your right hand is down on the mat, not a big deal. We'll flex those left toes though. We'll draw our belly in so that our ribs connect. And by connection, I mean, feel the muscle wrap around. Take one more breath here. And then as we exhale, we'll pull the elbow and or the knee into the chest. Inhale, we'll extend nice and long. Exhale, we'll pull it back in. Two more, inhale, reaching long. Exhale, tucking it in. Last one, inhale, we reach long. 
and exhale, we tuck it in for the last time. On that next breath in, extending that leg and the arm if it's extended, the palm comes down to the mat. We'll cross this left foot over towards our right side, we'll squeeze our thighs, and we'll exhale, look over our right shoulder as we push that left hip away. If you squeeze the thighs and it's too much, then maybe bend that back knee instead, or maybe bend the back knee and press out of the heel back and forth. You've got one more inhale here, and that exhale here. On your next breath in, look to the top of your mat. Slide this left foot directly behind you. Hook your left foot, excuse me, right foot over towards the right edge of the mat. And then inhale, side plank as you lift and extend with a lot of activity going up. Full breath in here in your side plank. Full breath out. Look anywhere it feels right for your neck. One more inhale. And that exhale. On your next breath in, if you can, Lift and float your left leg off the ground. And it might be half an inch. It could be parallel to your hip. Whichever it is or somewhere in between, own it. Pointing the toes. Either curl the heel in towards the body so that you can open the shoulder up and rotate. Or pull the knee into the chest. Slide your hand down until you connect to the shin bone and maybe around your ankle. And then curl the heel back. We're opening up our hip flexor. We're pulling those shoulder blades together. We're looking anywhere our neck feels comfortable. Take a full breath in here. Let that breath go. One last one. And we let that breath go. On an inhale, we release. Extend the arm and the leg. Dropping the blade of the foot down. Slide your palm back around and down. Rotate the toes so that all 10 of them point towards the front of the room. As they all point towards the front of the room, we're going to slide this left foot out towards that left edge of the mat. Walk your hands towards your body. Find comfort with this right knee. Use a blanket if you need to, to cushion it. And then inhale, rise all the way up. As you rise all the way up, draw a breath in. And as you exhale, pull the elbows down, send the thumbs back, lift your heart up vibrantly. Inhale, reach those arms up. And then exhale, take that left hand to that left side, extend the right fingertips. If this is too much for you, bring that right hand to your hip and slowly rotate that right shoulder down instead. And if this is still too much for you, then place both hands on your hips and then just slowly lean as you feel comfortable. Take one more inhale here and exhale here. On our next breath in, we reach up with our core, pull that pelvic floor muscle up and in. It's our powerhouse. As we exhale, we release the fingertips down to the ground. As the fingertips come down to the ground, we're slowly going to slide this right foot towards the edge of the mat and begin to walk that foot to the top corner of the mat and then send that left hand out so that now we're framing that foot. As we frame that foot, we draw a breath in. And as we exhale, we shift the weight of the body back as we lengthen through the hamstring. Now, if you can't do this as comfortably as you'd like. Bring the earth up to you. Maybe it's a block, maybe it's a book, maybe both hands come onto that one block, one book, or maybe your hands come to your hips if this is more comfortable. We're only here for one more breath in and one more breath out. Wherever you are, slide that prop out of your way. Lift your body up. Pull the knee in a little closer if you need to. And then slide this right foot out towards the left edge so that you can create space. Even if that means walking your hands to the right side so that you can release down. It's all about our comfort. Now you're welcome to stay right here or bend the knee. As we bend the knee, cross it over towards that right side or leave it neutral, reaching forward. Whichever you prefer, a breath in a breath out. One more inhale as we extend and reach that right arm up. We'll exhale, wrap this right arm around this left leg. Inhale, we lift up tall. Exhale, we stay strong through the core as we twist and look over to the left side. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling out of the nose. Another breath here. Keep that right hip anchor down as well as that left. Feel the shoulders release. Last inhale here. Last exhale here. On our next inhale, we release the arms looking forward. Now you're slowly going to slide 
the right foot out to the right side and extend that left leg forward. Sole of the foot can anchor into the inner thigh or even the calf if that's more comfortable. If you need to support the right knee, support that right leg with a block, or again, whatever you have accessible for you. Flex or point those toes up. And as we flex, normally that big toe wants to curl in actively. I want you to soften the big toe and imagine that there's a book or something resting there. On our inhale, our arms reach up. There's a soft bend in this left leg. And as we exhale, we bow it down. As we bow down, the goal is only to find the length for our low spine and to find that release and length for our hamstring as well as our calf. We're not trying to force our body down. We're just working with what we have in this moment. Isn't that always our goal? Working with our boundaries, with what we have, finding our edge, somewhat of a daredevil as you find your edge. Take a breath in. Let that breath go. Take another breath in. And let that breath go. Final inhale here. And final exhale here. On our next breath in, you're slowly going to inhale, press into the ground, lift the heart up. Inhale, arms sweep up. And then exhale, we're going to twist open towards that right side. As we twist open towards that right side, we're going to walk our hands. As we walk our hands, we're going to curl this left leg behind us. As that left leg goes behind us, if you have something to support you, you're welcome to use it. And if you don't, not a problem. Breath in through the nose. And then exhale, drop the forearms down to the ground, either stack the fist so that you can rest that space between the eyebrows on the mat, or maybe for you, you're able to release the ear down to the ground. And if you're not, that's okay. This is a nice way to twist without causing deep sensations of pain, more gentle effect for the body of wringing out the internal organs as well as releasing that back. If you still feel like you need a little bit more, you can turn your gaze over towards that right side. Breathe in through the nose here. Breathe out of the nose here. One last breath in, one last breath out. Now with the palms, press into the earth. We lift up, walk your hands towards the front. And as you inhale, circle sweep your arms up. And as we exhale, counter twist. So send that left hand out towards that left side. Reach the right fingertips over. If it's too much, arms reach up or elbow heads pull down to the sides. Your choice, wherever you're at. One more inhale and that exhale. On the next breath in, both arms reach up. We look forward and now everyone pull the heads of the elbows down. On our next inhale, those arms reach up. And as we exhale, our hands release to the sides. You have a couple of options on how you come back on hands and knees. One can be rotate your body to the right and send the body forward. The other can be you need to really just release, extend the leg back, and then come onto the hands and knees, whichever feels better for you. As you make your way back onto hands and knees, wiggle those hips right side to left side. We'll take three rounds of cat cows. I always give the option of our traditional right here in this space, or if you prefer roller coaster, take roller coaster. For roller coaster, tops of the feet onto the mat, hips towards the back, arms extended so they're not in line with our shoulders. Breath in as we bend those elbows and slither the heart forward, retracting the shoulders, we lift it up. As we exhale, we dome our spine, we start to send the hips towards the heels. Inhale, roller coaster or not, lift the heart up for cow. Exhale, dome that spine, cat it back. Last one, inhale. And then exhale, dome it up. On your next breath in, neutralize your spine. And as we neutralize the spine, stacking on all fours, meaning shoulders in line with wrists, hips in line with knees. Curling our left toes under, we'll inhale, extend that right leg. And if this doesn't feel right, then let the toes rest on the back side of the mat today. No big deal. If you took the modification by leaving both palms there, or if you took the modification to extend that opposite arm, take that left arm forward. All on your time, take a breath in. Pull the core up and in, and as we exhale, draw the knee in towards the chest and the elbow. If your elbow is extended, inhale, extend it long. Exhale, pull it in. You've got two more. Inhale, reach long. Try not to open the hip up. Instead, keep it in line. Exhale, in. Inhale, reach. Last time. Exhale, pull it in. 
and then inhale, we reach long. If your palm is floating, drop that palm down, cross your right leg over to the left side, squeeze the thighs if it feels comfortable, pull the shoulders back and we'll exhale, look over our left shoulder. As we look over that left shoulder, know that you can do anything necessary with this back right leg. If it means bending it, bend it. If it means returning it back to center, bring it back to center. Take one more inhale here. Feel the low spine open up, feel the lean through the hip and let that breath go. On our next inhale, we first look towards the top of our mat. Then we're in a side plank over as we extend that right leg behind us, hook the left toes to the edge of the mat, anchor through our left palm and our arm goes up. Draw a breath in, let that breath go. Take another breath in and let that breath go. On our next inhale, if you'd like, extend and lift the leg off the ground, right leg floats up. This may be enough for you. You may wanna curl the heel in towards the body, extend and reach back, or pull the knee in towards your chest, slide your hand down. If you find that you're getting any disconnection that doesn't feel appropriate, release it. There's no reason for you to cause injury or sensations of discomfort in your body this morning. Breath in breath out let that breath be long let it be fluid feel all the energy that you draw in with this breath this life force one more breath in and breath out when you're ready we gently release extending the arm and the leg drop the blade of the foot down circle your hand to the back of the room and square those hips all 10 toes now point towards the front as all 10 toes point towards the front we'll go ahead and slide this right leg out towards that right side First, find comfort as you press through the blade of your right foot and make sure this left foot is not out towards the left edge or it'll feel really wonky on your hip. Walk your hands towards your knee and then inhale if you're not already there, reach up, circle sweep it up. A breath in through the nose and a breath out of the nose. One more breath in and then exhale, elbow heads pull down, bring the ribs together. Inhale, lift the arms up. Side bend when you're ready. So if you want to take that right hand to the right side, extend the left fingertips. If not, keep it up high or bring the hands to the hips or bring the hands to the shoulders. You have so many variations here. Do what feels most magical in your body this morning. After all, you are a magical being. Take a full breath in, let that breath go. And then inhale, we all meet back to center with arms up. Exhale, the elbows pull down once more. Inhale, our arms reach up. Exhale, we release our fingertips down. Once the fingertips are down and the palms are anchored into the earth, slide your foot in. As you slide that foot in, you might wanna step it to the top corner first and then work it towards center. Bring that right hand out to that right edge. Take a breath in, look forward, and then exhale, slip the hips back. Again, if you need to bring the earth to you, bring that earth to you. If you need to do something different, do something different. Maybe it's holding the mat, whatever feels right for you. A breath in and a breath out. You've got two more like that. Toes can point or flex or the pinky blade can roll over or you can lift up a little higher. Another full breath in and that big giant breath out. If you need, on your inhale, lift up. Maybe look over towards that left side. As you look over towards that left side, bend that right knee. Send this left foot over towards that right side as you begin to work the hips back. As we work our hips back, we sit up nice and tall. As we sit up nice and tall, taking that variation of Lord of the Fish pose, you can either bend the knee, and if you want to bend the knee, that's fine. If you want to keep it long, keep it long. If you want to cross it over, cross it over. If your right glute lifts up, then that's when you need to adjust where this foot is placed. Take a breath in, shoulders back and down. Let that breath go. Draw the pelvic floor muscle up and in, those three layers. And not to be explicit, but when I speak of the pelvic floor muscle, a lot of times people are like, what does she mean? And I do mean the, the Kegel muscle, but there's three layers to it. So... Imagine if you're using the bathroom, it's where you hold urine in. Imagine if, lack of a better word, you've got gas, you got to pull that up and in, um, or even the vaginal wall. So those three muscles, or if you're a gentleman, it's that space between you know what and you know who. So pull that up and in, breath in, arm extends up, and either exhale, bow down, wrap your hand around the leg, or just keep those arms neutrally. 
Breathe in through the nose and then exhale, twist. You'll twist through the belly. You'll keep the chest squared. You'll look over the shoulder. Full inhale here. Full exhale here. Another breath in. And that last breath out. On your next inhale, begin to release and unwind coming forward. If your leg was crossed over, bring it back forward. Extend that leg long. Slide this left foot out towards that left edge. Support it if needed. Go ahead and flex the toes. Remove the love or the flesh from underneath your bottom. Square your heart towards those toes. Once more, instead of pulling the big toe and the little toes towards your body, imagine you're pressing into something or if you actually have something, keep it flexed and then press into it. Inhale, our arms scoop up. Exhale, we release the body down. As we release the body down, the hands can be either along the right and the left side of the leg, on the thigh, but not the knee, on the shin bone, around the toes, whatever is most comfortable. Even lifting the calf partially might feel better for you. So bending that knee. Two more inhales here. And that exhale here. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out. On your next breath in, press the fingertips into the earth, lift the shoulders up towards the ears. As you rise up, roll those shoulders away from your ears. If you had something anchoring that left leg, just slide it out. Take a breath in, arms reaching up. And as we exhale, we're gonna twist and lean over towards that left side so that lifts our right hip up. Sweep this right leg behind you. As you sweep that right leg behind you, looking to that left side, take a breath in. And as we exhale, we can bow down or we can stay upright or we can release the forearms down to the ground as we softly wring out the body. Releasing tension through the hip flexor, our low back and possibly our shoulders as well. Stack the fist if you need to or rest your head on a pillow. If you need a little bit more twist then look over towards your left side as you let the left ear either anchor onto the ground, a pillow, or just float in the air, just looking to the left. Another full breath in, another breath out. Last one, you draw it in fully, feel the abdomen expand, even though there's a soft twist, we let that breath go. If you're looking to the left, look towards your hands, place those palms on the ground, inhale, we lift it all the way up. And then inhale, we look forward, we extend our arms up towards the sky. If this is too much for your leg, extend it out your choice breath in and then exhale extend and reach the right arm over towards the right side as the left fingertips reach remember it's all about protection of the body so this might be where you're at this might be where you're at this may be where you're at another inhale here and that exhale here then on our inhale the arms reach up palms come to prayer and our hands rest at our heart space draw a breath in closing your eyes if you'd like and then exhale, blink the eyes open, release the palms down. We're making our way onto all fours. So however you need to get there, if that means extending the legs and then coming onto all fours, if that means rolling over to the left side and then bringing the hips down and up and then knees on the mat, then that's perfectly fine. Wiggle your hips from the right side to the left side. Draw a breath in. Let that breath go. We're all tucking those toes under, lifting our knees off the mat and sending the hips up as we exhale into a downward facing dog. As we come into downward facing dog, we begin to march or paddle our feet out, bend that right knee, straighten the left, switch it out. Hopefully all areas of the upper and lower portion of our body feel really fluid at this moment. Press the heart towards the thighs, hollow out the armpits and then find stillness in downward facing dog. As we find stillness in our downward facing dog, we'll inhale, lift the heels up nice and high. We are bending our knees generously and our heart maybe connects with the thighs. As we look forward, we'll begin to walk our hands towards our feet, lowering the heels down on the ground. The knees are still softly bent. Inhale, we'll lift up halfway. We're at the back of our mat. Exhale, we'll fold it all the way back down. And then inhale, we'll reverse and rise, extending those arms to the sides, up to the sky, full belly breath in, shoulders away from the ears. And then exhale, pull the elbows down, send the thumbs back, bring the heart proud fully. Inhale, our arms reach up. 
Exhale, we'll forward fold. We're still at the back of our mat. As we forward fold, our big toes kiss, our heels slightly separate. We release the hips as low as our body permits. And then inhale, we rise up for a little chair. We're not gonna be here long. As you're here in that chair pose, draw a breath in. Palms will kiss and we'll exhale, bring the hands into prayer and at our heart space. One more breath in. And then exhale, we all forward fold once more together. Straightening those legs, we'll inhale, lift up halfway, fingertips to our shin bones or our hips. And then exhale, bend the knees, plant the palms down. Walk your body forward into your plank pose so that you can lower down to your knees. As you lower down to those knees, the elbows hug in. And as we exhale, we'll let the arms brush the side of our ribs as we bring our face, our neck, everything down to the mat. On the next inhale, those elbows want to pull out. So pull those elbows in. If your back is still really tight, I invite you to take those legs out a little wider. Otherwise, keep them tight. Inhale, we rise up for a little baby cobra. Baby cobra might be a quarter of an inch up. It might be a centimeter. It might be a little higher. Float the fingertips off the mat if you can, or just press light weight into the tips of the fingers. Breath in here. Breath out. One more breath in. And then exhale, we release it down. On our next inhale, curl those toes, bring those thighs close to one another, pull your elbows in, shrug your shoulders back, and then lift your belly up as you come into plank pose. And then exhale, hands come closer, knees go out wider, child's pose. Work those arms forward, or if you prefer, bring those arms in, tucking them in towards the body. There's no incorrect way unless it doesn't feel right. Breath in through the nose. Breath out of the nose. Two more. Inhale through the nose. And out. Last big breath in. And we release that breath. On our next inhale, lift the heart up. Press the palms into the earth. Work your knees back into hip width distance. Curling the toes under, lifting those knees, tilting the hips back up for downward facing dog. On our inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, look forward, walk your feet now to the top of the mat. If you need to walk back, walk back, but once you get there, you might wanna walk forward. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up halfway. Exhale, bow it back down. And then inhale, reverse and rise. As we reverse and rise, we'll circle sweep those arms all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, heads of our elbows pull down. Inhale, the arms reach up. Exhale, bending those knees, forward fold. Lower the fingertips down to the mat. Step back with your right foot in warrior one. So that's about a 35 to 45 degree angle. And as far as length, that's gonna vary on your leg length. Keep that left knee bent, align it with the heel on that left foot. And then only when it feels right, maybe push the peace fingers into the mat, straighten that back right leg, pressing through the blade of your foot. Hand can come to the thigh, hand can come to the hamstring, but inhale, start to lift and rise up and then extend those arms all the way up towards the sky. A full breath in. And on that exhale, the heads of the elbows pull down. The core is tight. This glute is working. Inhale, there's softness as we reach up and exhale, our hands release to our sides. Interlacing, grabbing elbows or holding onto your wrists. We draw a breath in. And as we exhale, maybe extend the fist just a little bit away from your body. Push that left hip back, back bow your heart down. As you bow your heart down, don't force the shoulder to the knee. Instead, Keep that heart in its line. So imagine you're a car and you're in your own lane and then you can bow it down. Sometimes we're asked to bring the shoulder to the knee and that can be challenging on the opposite side. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, release the hands down, frame that front foot, either bring the earth up to you with your blocks. Lifting up halfway, you can straighten that front leg. If you need to shorten the stance, shorten the stance or pop that right heel off the mat if you need. And then exhale, we bow down into that pyramid pose. As we come into that pyramid pose, there's still a significantly soft bend in this left leg. You're not causing injury or harm to your body. You're just allowing the body to express itself by releasing and opening. One more inhale here. Let that head dangle. Try not to look at the toes. Let that breath go. As we take our next breath in, we'll rise up halfway. We'll bend that front knee. Now, this time you're going to walk your hands to the right edge of your mat for a wide-legged forward fold. 
If you need to take the stance wider, take that stance wider. If you need to shorten the stance, shorten the stance. A soft bend in both knees as you bow your head down. You're welcome to grab the elbows and cradle just like you would in ragdoll, but in this wide-legged forward fold, or you can hang on to the ankles with right and left hand. Release that low back, bend those knees, swoosh the body if you'd like from the front of the mat to the back of the mat or in any direction. Take another breath in. Let that breath go. One more inhale and you'll let that breath go. Fingertips release to the mat. Inhale, trust yourself. I know you're not going to be facing the camera and that is perfectly fine. You are a teacher. Honor her or him and listen to yourself. Press the fingertips into the earth. Inhale, lift up halfway. As we lift up halfway, we're going to spider walk our way to the back of the mat. So we're framing our right foot now. Slide the right foot forward so that you're anchoring into warrior one. You're not facing forward. I realize this, but I trust you. I want you to trust yourself as you inhale, lift it up. Back leg is strong. Once you're steady, your arms reach up. Once you feel even more steady, you exhale, pull the heads of the elbows down, send the thumbs back, inhale, those arms will reach up. And as we exhale, our hands fan down, either interlace your hands, the opposite grip, or grab the elbows or whatever you need so that there's comfort in your body. Collarbone is wide. There's a breath in through the nose. There's a breath out of the nose. And then the next inhale, the fist lifts slightly away from the body and you'll begin to exhale to bow down. If this is too much, you know the drill. Hands to the hips or hands on that quad and keep the heart elevated. You're still getting that length. There's still a lot of work that's occurring even though we're being mindful with ourselves. Another breath in. And that last breath out will release the hands down to the small of the back. Let the hands frame that front foot. Bring the earth up to you if needed. Or if not necessary, then that's okay. <clears throat> as you lift up halfway, straighten this, uh, this right leg. And then as we exhale, engage the quad so that you're not hyperextending the right knee. You'll bow it down. Only bow down as much as your body permits. No more, no less or maybe less, but just not more. Take a breath in, let that breath go. Last one, breath in, and then let that breath go. On your next inhale, rising up halfway, bend that front knee as you bend that front knee, taking that wide-legged forward fold as we come back to the edge of our mat. As we come to the edge of our mat, we bow that chest down. Inhale through our nose here. Exhale out of the nose. Inhaling once more, exhale to release. Now press your fingertips into the mat, lift up halfway. As we lift up halfway, we're gonna to begin to spider walk to the very top. Now we're framing our, or we're at original point of the beginning. Take an inhale here. And as you exhale, slide your foot towards the back end of the mat as you make your way into that downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, inhale, you can roll into your plank, to the knees or off. Elbows in, brush the side body, lower your, your frame all the way down. Inhale, rise up for baby cobra or cobra pose where you keep the thighs partially on the mat, but you press the palms into the ground. A breath in here, tops of the feet are on the ground versus tucking the toes. It creates more tension in our low spine. When you're ready to release, you can lower your body down. You can curl those toes, walk those thighs on the knees for plank to exhale, child's pose, narrow or wide. Breath in and that breath out. Another breath in and that breath out. Now massage the space between your eyebrows if you'd like. That'll release any tension that you may be still holding, especially if you're clenching your jaw and you're not really realizing that you're doing that. Maybe you create big O's with your jaw so you can release. Last inhale here. And last exhale here. On our next breath in, we'll rise back up into our tabletop position. As we come into tabletop, we're working our way now onto our bottom. So slide the hips to one direction, swing those legs forward. As the legs come forward, find the middle or the center of your mat, and then slowly with your core strength, roll down onto your back. As you roll onto your back, your knees come in towards your chest, your hands can rest on the shin bones or on the kneecaps and then either sway side to side 
or trace those circles. The circles, you might notice that you're hitting the pelvic frame, the um, crest of your hip, and that might feel more comforting. But if it doesn't, find something different. Come back to center. As you come back to center, lowering the sole of that left foot down, that right leg lifts up as we cross the ankle over for figure four on our back. Thread the needle or stay right here. This may be enough for you today, but if you need a little bit more, lift the left foot up. Your right hand goes through the triangle window, your left hand's on that outside edge. Interlace or basket weave. The fingers flex the right foot. That's the only part of the body that I ask that you do something very specific with. And the reason why is to protect the joint of your knee. Don't compromise the integrity of your knee and those tendons. Breath in, breath out. Two more inhales. Make this next one really long. Let the tailbone roll down as you exhale it out. And then go ahead and release. As you release, cross this right leg all the way to the left. From here, lift the soles of the feet up. As we lift the sole of that left foot up, your hands come to your knee. So your right hand is grabbing the left one and then vice versa. You can curl the heels in towards your body, slide your hands along the shin bone, and then slowly bring those knees and the thigh towards your heart. Keep the tailbone down. Maybe here you flex or point the right and left toes. You might notice the sensation through the glute on your right side. Breath in and that breath out. One more breath in and that breath out. We'll release, and as we release, extend both right and left leg up towards the sky. Allow yourself to imagine you're walking on the ceiling, so maybe bend those knees and paddle your feet up and down like you're touching the sky or you're touching the ceiling, and then pause. On that exhale, tuck the knees in towards the chest, rock side to side. Lowering the sole of your right foot down, that left leg extends and that left leg crosses over for figure four. Lift the sole of the right foot, thread the needle, flex that left foot once more. The only thing I advise you and ask you to do is flex that left foot. If it's too much for you, maybe release the sole of the right foot down and then flex that left foot and stay right here until your glute says, taps out or it says, I'm okay. Take a full belly breath in. Let that breath go. One more big breath in. And that breath out. If you're hanging on to the inner thigh by the interlacing of your fingers, release. As you release, cross this left leg all the way over towards the right side. Lift that right foot off the mat. Bring those knees into your heart. Hold on to the kneecap and then slide down until you find your comfortable grip. And then draw the knees as you exhale in towards your heart. Pointer flex the toes. Feel the tailbone drop down as gravity is doing majority of the work for us. You might feel the embracing or the strength of your biceps and that's okay. If it's too much, you can release a little bit. Full inhales and exhales. Never compromise your breath. Two more. And last one, we'll release the hands from the legs. We'll extend both that right and the left leg up towards the sky. As we exhale, happy baby. Those knees come in towards the armpits as we grab the blades of our feet. Our shoulders shrug in towards the middle and then we can rock and play right side to left side. If you prefer the leg extension, you can extend those legs if that feels good. You can also bring the soles of the feet together. And as you bring the soles of the feet together, you can open up the inner thighs. There's many variations that I enjoy. And then I know that you enjoyed and created yourself on what brings comfort and ease into your brain. Two more inhales of whatever you need, whatever you're doing here in this happy baby. Last one. Then you'll go ahead and release. As you release, those legs lift up. And as you exhale, bend those knees in towards your heart. 
lower the soles of the feet down. As you lower the soles of the feet down, you might want to windshield wiper your hips from right side to left side. And we'll set up for two, possibly three bridges. So when you're ready, palms down to your sides. We're gonna actually go for two. So when you're ready, inhale, lift the hips up. Maybe give the glutes a little lift so that the shoulder blades can come together and you're on that upper portion of your back looking directly up towards the ceiling. And then on that exhale, slowly begin to lower the hips down. Take your feet a little bit wider than hip width distance, knees together, windshield wiper. Set up once more, walk the feet back towards one another, palms down to the sides, inhale, press through the feet, lift the hips up, assist the glutes if you need to, take a breath in, let that breath go, one more breath in, and then exhale, release and lower down. As we release and lower down, let the back rest comfortably on the mat, and then separate the feet and sway those legs. Once your body feels all right, come back to center and extend those legs nice and long as you take that big good morning stretch. And from that big good morning stretch, you can yawn or arch the spine, but then you'll exhale, draw those knees in towards the heart, wrap those arms around yourself. Supine twist as the arms cactus or tee out, and you can always release the toes to the mat and lift the hip up instead. You can also have a greater than 90 degree angle. So whatever you need, breath in. And then exhale, let the knees fall over towards that right side. If for any reason your thighs are not coming down to the mat, let the earth rise up to you. Place something to support yourself. Let that left shoulder rest on the earth as you start to look up. And then maybe over towards that left side. Inhale through your nose here. And either out of the nose or maybe that cleansing breath, sigh it out. Looking back up towards the ceiling, knees come back to center. Bring the earth with you if you need it. Exhale, fall over towards that left side. Let yourself stack or rest on the left side and then bring that right arm over to the right side and release that right shoulder down. Looking anywhere it feels right. Perhaps maybe you can look over towards your right side as you breathe in and out of the nose. Two more inhales. One last big breath in. Sigh it out if you'd like. Looking back up towards the sky, inhale those knees, come back to center. Lift your head off the mat, wrap those hands around the hamstring or the shin bones as you guide the heart into a big hug. Give yourself this big squeeze. I want you to squeeze every fiber, every tendon, all tissue as tight as you can. And then inhale, we release. Exhale, Shavasana. Legs extend out to the sides. If you happen to have a pillow today or a blanket and you prefer to rest those legs, on those items to support your frame. This usually feels back if you're having back issues. So it might be something you wanna either have handy when you come to class, because this is an offering you can do anytime you see fit for yourself. We'll all take a collective breath in and we'll all release that breath out. Enjoying these next moments, the gift you gave yourself this morning. This is your why, because you are you.
awakening the body. We begin by inhaling through the nose, bringing that awareness. This inhale enters, and as we exhale, we release that breath. Crack a smile. Invite movement into the fingers, the toes, your wrists and ankles. Let the head rock from right side to left side. And then as you find alignment with the spine, inhale for that big good morning stretch. Again, yawn, arch the spine. And as you exhale, begin to bend those knees and either soles of the feet down to the earth or knees and towards the chest. As you release with your eyes closed, if possible, roll over towards that right side or roll directly towards a seated position, but begin to guide yourself into that comfortable seat. As you arrive in a seated position, let your hands come into prayer and at your heart space. And if you're still content with resting, stay where you are. As the hands come into prayer and at our heart space, we inhale through our nose. And we exhale, release the breath and bow to the journey we've shared this morning. The divine in me salutes, honors the divine love and light in both of you. Excuse me, in all of you. May you have a beautiful day. May the love that you shine be shared with all from my heart to yours. Namaste.